I know you know this. There are U.S. soldiers waking up in other parts of the world, putting their lives on the line to protect our freedoms and interests here. Since many of them cannot make it home for, well, Valentine's Day, there are maybe to send love to an active military member, even a veteran as well. Who could we talk to about this, I wonder? Our Kelly Hubbard joining us live from Winfield Funeral Home uh, with a mission they're on. Kelly, what are folks doing? Good morning. Well, good Wednesday morning to you, Matt. Folks over here are calling this Operation Valentine's. You can see some of the Valentine's that have already been written out. We're told about 150 so far, but the goal is, of course, to get a lot more because the purpose here, it's huge. So we're here with Mr. Marcus Lewis. He is the general manager. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, Baton Rouge. How are you doing this morning? We are doing great. Thank you for asking. Kind of tell us what the big purpose, what the big drive is for you guys to do this. Okay, it's twofold. The first purpose is to let the men and women who are protecting our country, who are protecting our freedom, let us let uh, let them know that we appreciate them and we love them. They're being away from their home. We just want to let them know that someone is thinking about them. The second purpose is we want to prepare our young people to know how to give and to show love, especially to people that they don't know. In the climate that we are living in, I think it's very important for, to teach people to to show love, especially to strangers. So that's this is twofold purpose, and uh, we just enjoying what we're doing and we're just trying to take it to a greater level. This is the third year that y'all have been doing this. What do you want people to know? Maybe kids or anyone can really write a card, you were saying. Yes, anyone can write a card. Uh, just drop it off to Winfield Funeral Home on Plank Road, 7221, and we will take care of it from there. All right. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Marcus, General Manager here at the Funeral Home at 532. We have lots to talk about when it comes to getting these schools involved, so we're going to tell you more about that at 530, Dr. Steve.